Jenny Cook and I'm here with another box opening and review video but I'm doing something a little bit different here now this isn't a wagon that uh, I've recently bought that's currently available this is quite an old school one I say old school it dates back to 2011 but uh, as those of you who know me know I'm very much one for collecting limited editions I'm a sucker for those and I've built up quite an extensive collection over time and sometimes a lot of people ask well, you know, can I get a closer look at X, Y or Z wagon or locomotive and I thought we'd do an occasional video where I'd look at a, an older uh, special commission wagon that's long since uh, sold out just to kind of make a video record of some of these more esoteric uh, prototypes. The one that we've got here today this is uh, catalogue number 37-079T and this is a seven plank private owner wagon of um, the company Raven in Swansea and this was originally produced exclusively for the Midland Railway at Butterley and it was for a specific exhibition, uh, the Midland Rail X exhibition in that year. Some big model railway exhibitions do commission uh, Backman to produce a specific wagon that they will then sell at a specific show. Um, the Worley model railway exhibition has been quite famous for this for years. But this particular exhibition commissioned Backman for this wagon. And uh, I didn't go to this exhibition. But I did manage to get this second hand whilst attending a model railway exhibition as an exhibitor. And I saw it there all forlorn on the club stand of all places. And it was a really good price. So I thought, well, I'll, you know, I quite like the limited edition stuff. So I'll back one of them. That explains the slightly tired look around the edges of the box. Um, it's not to be helped. Needs must when, uh, you know, you're um, having to buy these things second hand. But this is the newer style uh, Batman box, but uh, let's just pull this out. And uh, this particular wagon has received a bit of aftermarket attention. So this isn't strictly speaking mint. And uh, what we can immediately see is that uh, the plastic blister thing has had a bit cut out. And when we look closer to the wagon, what we can see is that somebody has actually added a coal load. And that is real coal in there. Uh, they've probably done it over a block of polystyrene, and something like that. So it's not solid coal. But actually the fact that they've used the real coal has actually added to the look on this wagon. And there is a cursory wash of weathering as well, which hasn't been overdone. It's toned down the paintwork. So actually it doesn't really detract from this model. I do quite like that coal. It's well glued in, so there isn't really anything coming out. But the, the, the basic livery that the original uh, had is still there. It's a seven plank end tipping wagon. Now this is a model that's been in the Backman branch line range since probably about 1997. So it's not that it's getting long in the tooth. It was an exceptionally good model for its time when it came out. And it still very much holds its own. Uh, we've got uh, the later... Um, couplings that are not cranked. Originally Backman got the NEM pockets at the wrong height so they had to introduce a cranked coupling. This being slightly later they've modified that so what we can see is we've got the straight uh, couplings which means that basically if you want to put something like KD couplings on these it's very straightforward to do. We've got the brake shoes that line up with the wheels and we've got the later edition wheels where they've got uh, a thinner axle Early editions of this had uh, sort of like um, a much thicker axle and it was plastic in the middle and the wheels were metal uh, fitting onto that. That's gone and changed. Still got the same profile wheels. We've got the split spoke wheels on here. It's a bit like we, we recently reviewed the Daypol O-Gage wagon and I commented on the wheels. Well, this is the uh, 00 version. It's a nice application of the livery. We can see on the writing in the corner, despite the fact it's been weathered, it is still super crisp and clear. We can read that. Um, and really it's what we've come to expect from uh, the Backman branch line wagons. Like I said before, it is an older wagon, there's not sprung buffers. Um, I'd give it a good uh, 7 out of 10. And that's not to detract from it, it's a very good model. Um, there are newer models coming out from the likes of Oxford Rail. We did review one of those and that gives you a little bit more in the underside detail. But this wagon still holds it out its own and can be acquired second-hand at a very reasonable price. 
Uh, I'm not really sure what these would have sold for new, uh, but being limited edition, you do often pay a premium. And it's nice for my collection to be able to get some of these uh, more unusual releases, which unless you've been to a specific uh, exhibition, you wouldn't necessarily have access to getting. Well, I hope that's been very informative to you. Don't forget to like this video, share it too, and also check out our partner channels. Hopefully we'll have some links over here and you can see um, for example, Game Hammer, where Zoe reviews some really quality classic retro games. So relive some of your childhood if you're of that certain age. Or indeed, if you're not of that certain age, maybe a bit younger, you can see what on earth we had to put up with as kids when we, when we were getting uh, video games. And also, I starred in her newest film, which is How to Make a Film, ironically. And uh, I'm not on screen, but... You can hear me doing some very silly voices in there. Anyway, you take very good care of yourself. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.